Well, I have finished re, uh, remaking the wood on this 06, and I've put the last coat to finish on it. And now I'm going to try to put it back together. And this is kind of a Chinese puzzle doing this. I have discovered that with these older guns, super thin gun oil like we have in modern guns nowadays, it's not not quite as good. These older guns, I think, had a lot more play in them. So I used a little thicker oil in, in these restorations. Now there's a little divot, just a little tiny a half circle maybe a third of a circle and it's right it's in this um, there's a little divot in this tube right here and that divot right there it goes it lines up with a pin hole in this hood and right there it is keeps that tube locked forward and backward into that uh, into that hood and all right that's on that's the hardest part of all of it Now there's a spring that I made a homemade one that pushes this little lever down which pushes this carrier up and this little spring right here I made out of a one of my wife's hair clips and I think it's a little on the weak side so we, we went ahead and got one from uh, from Numerich and I'm going to swap that out right quick oh yeah this is this is a lot more firm on that spring gives it a lot more pressure oh yeah yeah that that lifts this carrier it, it push this carrier lever pushes down which makes the carrier go up and it keeps pressure up. When you cock the hammer back, the carrier comes up automatically. Thank you, Mr. Browning. This thing had a, 
issue when we first started with it. This carrier from here to there is one piece. It's all milled out of one piece. Your shell goes in the hole backwards and then the carrier lifts it up. As, as the hammer comes back, the carrier lifts the shell up and then the extractor is a combination tool that pushes the shell in down this slot. It shoves it in there. Well, the top part of this thing was missing. It was broken about right there. Just snapped off. And since I didn't have one to go by, I didn't know why it didn't work. So we looked it up on, uh, I don't know, eBay, I think. And he sent me a picture of it. And I said, well, it's not going to be any more tore up if I mess it up than it is right now. Either way, it doesn't work. And they were kind of pricey if you buy them on eBay. Because I think it's a weak link. And I think people trying to assemble these things, this is a takedown, obviously the takedown screw here. And they're trying to assemble them. That's the first thing you slip into that. And if you wiggle it around much, you're going to snap that off. Because it's just a very weak little bit of a metal right here holding it on. So sure enough, it broke. <clears throat> well, I got me a piece of quarter inch steel. And I ground that little, little half round groove in it right there. And I put a drill bit that was the right size in there and clamped it down. And I welded that. I ground me a V right there right there and right over here and I welded that piece back on. I left my drill bit clamped on and then I, I dressed all this down. I milled it down just by hand with a grinder and a file and test fitted it to the top of the slide. And about three and a half hours later and a lot of filing, it worked. So I didn't charge for that. I'm not a gunsmith. Don't have a license to be a gunsmith. Don't have training to be a gunsmith. And so I don't charge for it because I don't want the ATF messing with me. But I do have fun. I think these things get broken more in taking them apart and putting them back together than any other way. O6 restored. It's got a few dings in it, a few little scratches and scrapes, and make it look like it's been through a few things in its life but it's just a restoration we're not talking about forgery we're just talking about restoration Well, thanks for choosing to spend your time here with me today. I hope you've enjoyed this program. I'll try to post a new segment each weekend. In addition, if you'd like to read about a stock that I made and then it took a 20-foot free fall, click on the link at the bottom of this page. It's called The Broken Gun. It's a story I wrote a few years ago about my two boys. Sometimes life's hard and things get broken. Now and then we get a chance to fix them. 
I'm so grateful for the opportunity I had to repair this broken stock. It led to a restoration that I never could have imagined. As always, if you like this video, please click the like button and share this with your friends. Have a great day.